What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master 1 and welcome to my Forma Building Guide for this month's Hall of Forms featuring Legend Grima, Valentine Lucina, Fallen Male Morgan and Valentine Owain. We're gonna be having scales up to the Mythic Galvig and Quasir Banner. Unfortunately, a lot of the Winter and the Newer skills are not gonna be there which can be a bit of a bummer. So let's start with Legend Grima and she is a really old Legend unit and her weapon expiration has truly expired because now we even have Dragonstone Plus which has got the true damage reduction based on the speed and it also provides the full-on follow-up so it's definitely gonna be better than this weapon but still Expiration does have Distant Counter built in and it also gives you plus 4 to all of your stats and inflicts Guard on the foe. So this weapon is definitely gonna be needing a change. You cannot really change to an Arcane Breath because then you're gonna be losing out on Dragon Skin 2 which is still a pretty good slotty skill because it does have Eye of Shield built in so you're not gonna be weak to any kind of flyer effective damage and then it can also give you plus 6 to all of your stats and it neutralizes any kind of visible buffs of the foe so having the dull all effect can be helpful when we have got a lot of visible buffs running around so at the very least you can keep this preferred skill because we don't really have anything that can give you plus 6 to all of your stats along with the Iot shield effect and also has got this kind of dull all effect so only try and get her if you're trying to plus and merge her or you're a big Grima fan because she's not going to be doing too well even at plus and merge and unfortunately regardless of being a legendary unit she doesn't really score all that well for arena usage. So if you're going to be building her up then for her weapon you can still get expiration because Dragonstone plus is not going to be available in this hollow form and it's going to be the best weapon that you can run on her. So. Maybe after getting her from the holo forms, you can try and get newer Mail Kana and then give her this weapon and her assist and special and slotty skill. It doesn't really matter too much because even if you get some premium slotty skills, we're still going to be running Dragon Skin 2 at the end of the day. And like I said, you can only run an arcane weapon because we're going to be losing out on this skill. Counter Roar is going to be the best slot B pickup that you can get so that you can get the damage reduction and also damage reflection which does help with the damage output and it also gives you the 7 HP healing after the combat. So it's a pretty good skill to get and for her slots you can run Guidance 4 or Soaring Guidance so that you can enable the warping of your allies which can just support them really really well and you can even run Attack Speed Rain Snap if you want to get the extra movement. So any of those three skills are going to be amazing to get on Legend Grima and unfortunately despite you decking her out with the premium skills She's still going to be struggling with the insane nukes that we have gotten nowadays which can get a bajillion <laughs> pre-combat damage. Valentine Lucina is definitely the best unit out of this holo forms badge because despite being old she can still function as a good fast near save armor unit with her preferred weapon giving her plus 3 speed and also giving the dull old status to herself or any kind of target ally if they use any kind of movement as a skill. And she does come with future vision of legendary lucina which has got the preferred swap assist and also gives you another action so it does go really well with her weapon and this weapon is also going to be giving her plus 5 to all of her stats and also 40 percent damage reduction on foe's first attack so it's definitely a decent weapon and the dull old status is the biggest thing that you get out of this because being able to ignore the visible buffs of the enemies is a pretty good defensive effect and the fact that you can give this to another ally is also pretty nice. So she can function as an ear savior even at low merges but if you want her to function as a far savior then you're definitely going to be needing a lot of support and a lot of investment. So if you're going to be getting any kind of hollow form skills on her then you can try and get ruptured sky as her special but if you want to make her a far savior then armored beacon is going to be the special you want to get. Armored place is unfortunately not available in this hollow forms. So she can only get that skill for near saving and attack speed unity is going to be the best skill that you can get for this thought a because you can stack up a lot of speed and still be really fast even after the debuffs. You can also go with attack speed prime because she can get a status effect out of her weapon and if you can give her the three additional status effects then she's going to be able to get the distant counter effect and distant dart is also an option if you just want to have a distant counter skill in the slot a. And if you don't want to run as the sacred seal. Savvy Fighter 4 is also going to be pretty amazing for a fast armor like her because you can get the full null follow up and also get the damage reduction which is applicable on the brave attacks. You can also get the unpierceable damage reduction in Hardy Fighter by running her with Escution or Sacred Cowl 
but Gambit is also going to be an option because she doesn't really have a minus one special cooldown weapon. So if you run her with Aether or Miracle, then she can get 50% damage reduction and also get that true damage, which she doesn't really get out of Savvy Fighter. So these are going to be her main slot B options. And then for her slot C, you want to get a save skill that is going to be stacking up on the speed. Attack speed near save is going to be the skill for a near save build. And attack speed far save is going to be the build for the high investment and max investment far save your Lucina. Now in summoner duels, she definitely functions as a pretty nice save unit for getting another action. And that's why you can try and get her with hardy fighter with attack speed far save. But outside of that game mode, you can just try and get her with savvy fighter 4 and function as a near savior. Fallen Mail Morgan is a red infantry mage with Tome of Despair as his perfect weapon. This is going to be giving him plus 3 attack and then he can also inflict minus 6 attack and resistance debuff on the foe and depending on the total value of the visible buffs on him and the debuffs on the foe, he's going to be able to get a bunch of effects. If it's 5 or more then he's able to get the follow up negation effect and if it's 10 or more then he gets the guaranteed follow up attack which is really good for a slow unit like him. And finally, if it's 15 or more, then he can inflict the guard effect on the foe. So you're mainly going to be getting him in the holo form so that he can get the premium skills for a mage like Flare as the special. And he can also get him with attack resistance finish 4, which does have pretty good synergy with the tempo 4 skill because the tempo 4 does have the null guard built in. So being able to trigger your specials easily is going to be really good. And attack resistance tempo 4 is going to be an amazing skill, especially if you can inflict the guard effect on the foe because if they don't really have any kind of null guard effect then they're just not charging up their specials or even triggering it and it also provides you with damage reduction shredding which is really helpful and if you want to get the full damage reduction piercing then special spiral 4 is going to be the choice but if you just want to get the 50 percent damage reduction shredding then you can either run the tempo 4 skill and if you don't really get the tempo 4 skill then you can still run Magical will follow up mainly for its damage reduction shredding. And in the slots, you can run attack resistance ploy 3, which can work out really well with the weapon that he has got by debuffing the foes. So you're going to be able to get the 10 debuffs on the enemies, which is already pretty good. And if you run him with something like attack oath echo, a team skill, then he easily gets 15 or more value for his weapon. So this is going to be the option that he can run, especially on a high or max investment build that do ascend his resistance asset, so he can make use of his resistance productively. You can even get attack resistance oath 4 if you want to, and time pulse 4 is also going to be an option if you want to make flare into a 2 cooldown special. Valentine Owain is going to be the final unit of this badge in the holo forms, and he already has blue flame as the expensive special, so you can just get something other than this and also get a new weapon. Unfortunately, you cannot really get the arcane weapons in the holo forms, so he's not going to be able to get Arcane Luen or Arcane Xiang, but he can certainly give that to him later on when he redeem him. I would only recommend getting him in the holo forms if you're trying to plus and merge him because there are just so many other Lance Cavaliers that he can run and his own uncle, Brave Chrom, is going to be getting a weapon refine this year. So there's a lot of unique Lance Cavaliers out there and unless you want to get the premium skills on him, there's not going to be too much incentive to get him in this holo forms. So for the weapon, you can get Ninja Naginata Plus, which can give you the true damage and then you can build off of it by running Gambit on him. And Gambit is going to be giving him that 50% damage reduction and also 15 true damage per hit, which is really good with a brave weapon like this. And even if you run him with Arcane Xiang or Arcane Luin, it is still going to be a pretty good slot B skill on a Cavalier. And for the slot A, you can get Flared Sparrow because it's a lot more premium than Attack Speed Clash 4. That's for sure, so that can be the main option, but you can even get the prime skill if you can give him the three additional status effects outside of his kit for getting the distant counter effect. And finally for the slot C, alarm attack speed is going to be the option so that you can get more offenses and also get the canto 1 status. So it's definitely useful for a cavalier and if you want to get a premium build on him then this is going to be the one to get. You can even get ruptured sky Z special even though we're running gambit because Aether is a lot easily available um, and you can just give that to him later on. So Ruptured Sky could be like a low cooldown premium special that he can try and get. But other than that, this is pretty much going to be the build. Unfortunately, there are not too many premium lances that he can try and get. I mean, Kumo Naginata is also something you can try and get, but it doesn't really have any kind of true damage. 
like Ninja Naginata Plus. So with Gambit, you're at least able to get like 19 true damage per hit, which is still pretty good. The next month, we're going to be having a whole of forms of Fire Emblem Fates. And these are all of the potential options that you can try and expect. So out of these, I do think that this is going to be something that is possible. And Legend of Ryoma is someone we can expect because his scheduled run is going to be in February. So it lines up perfectly with his Hall of Forms. So he's probably going to be the red option. And then they could have either of the Corrents. They're probably going to be having both of the Corrents from the Halloween banner. So that can work out. So I do think that Valentine Takumi does have a good chance as a modern unit. But if they want to go the route of giving us the beast units, then New York Valuria and New York Selkie can be the options. And then they could have a magical unit in the form of Orochi. Keep in mind that in every single Hall of Forms, there's going to be some kind of magical damage, either from the dragons or from the mages. So if they're not going to be having any dragons, then there's definitely going to be some kind of mage right there. So come back to this video next month to see if I was right or wrong. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure to leave a like and a comment. It helps tremendously. And if you really, really enjoyed, you could always support me directly by using super thanks down below or by becoming a YouTube member. And for more free videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because YouTube set boxes are about as functional as equipping Dragon Skin 2 with Arcane Grima. So with that, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.